Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today we can talk about an all new tool which is browser sync. So in this video we'll be talking about browser sync and we'll be doing a complete hands on. Let's get started. Cross browser testing. Cross browser testings are truly an important part of any testing that we do for our web application. But honestly, the most boring one yet. Now the cross browser testing has gone a further level up from not just testing application from one ecosystem, but we need to test our application in Mac operating system, Windows operating system, Android, and as well as iOS operating systems while we have browsers in all these different ecosystems. So we have to ensure that the application that we are testing with these different browsers are not really breaking and they are intact with these different browsers and our CSS look as well as the JavaScript executions are working fine without any problem. So the browser sync came as a lifesaver to help out as in these kind of different situations that we are facing right now. So browser sync knows exactly all of our pain points and it came up with a very, very intuitive way to resolve this problem and to see how the browser sync has came us to save these problems. Let's quickly see in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Chrome browser. All right, so this is the browsersync.io website. You can just type browsersync.io here and you can see that the documentation as well as the website itself is pretty small. It's very, very neat and easy to understand. You can see that it has been used by Google, Adobe and many big companies. And the installation and getting started with, with browser sync is much faster as well. So you can see just hit get started you can get started in just five minutes. So we are going to make use of this and see how it's going to basically work. So in order to work with our browser single IO application, we need to have a web application or at least an application built with JavaScript or HTML or something like that. So in our Excel automation GitHub repo, we have something called as EA course app. And this EA course app is mainly developed to work with the courses like protractors and TypeScript automations with protractors, things of that nature. But I'm going to use this application this time to see how I can ensure that we can work with this browser sync and also test our application in different browsers as well as iOS simulator. So for that, I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to just type, I'm just going to clone the application. So basically I'm going to go all the way here copy this command and then I'm just going to type or maybe I can create a directory something like course app maybe and then I'm going to go all the way to the course app and I'm just going to do a git clone of this particular URL and I'm going to hit enter. So this is basically going to download my application and then I'm going to go to this EA course app and I need to install the uh, packages for within this application basically it is a node.js application and it has a lot of dependencies so i need to download and install that that's it so this is the application installation pretty easy and straightforward and now if i want to start the application it is very very simple all i have to do is this npm start you can see that it's going to launch my application and it's going to run in the 8808 port so if i just type 8808 port you can see the application is up and running cool so this is the application and now that i want to test this application in multiple different browsers in reality in order to test this application in multiple different browsers we either test this one here and then we open the safari browser and again we just type this particular url there which is nothing but the local host and hit enter oops it's going to be localhost colon 8808 I'm going to hit the enter. So this is going to be coming in here. And similar, similarly, if I want to test this in Firefox or maybe Opera or even in simulators, I have to do all these things and have to test the look and feel in these different browsers. So in order to reduce this pain point using browser sync, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this command and I'm going to install that into my project directory so that it can watch what's really happening there. And also it is going to act like a proxy between our application to perform these operation like changes is happening within this particular CSS files and things of that nature. So I'm just going to quickly show you how it is being done. And let me open the terminal once again. 
and let me stop this guy and here I'm just gonna go and open the Visual Studio code this time I'm gonna get help from Visual Studio code and let me open the terminal so controls control shift P and toggle the internal terminal and here I'm just gonna type this npm install hyphen g instead of hyphen g i'm just going to install that as a uh, dev dependency so that it's going to install within my project here instead of just installing wholly in my mac operating system so you can see that it is pretty easy and straightforward here there we go it is installed as mentioned in the documentation here and then we're going to start this browser sync so you can see that it is saying that a basic use is to watch all the CSS file in the directory and update the connected browsers if a change occurs. So you can see here that it's going to start the browser using browser sync of start hyphen hyphen server and you can also mention which files you need to watch for the changes within your application. So it says it's going to watch for the CSS file. Let's go with them and I'm going to use the same command just copy pasting is much easier. So I'm going to do that you can see that once I do that, it's going to open the application for me in a Safari browser there. So this is the guy and you can see that it has a different port number this time. It's not 8808 as we opened before. It is actually running in its own server port, which is 3000. Right. And now if I open another instance in a different browser, let's say, so I'm gonna close these guys. So instead of 8808, I'm gonna open that with 3000. Hit enter. Do you see there is something called as connected to browser sync has been coming? Let me refresh this again. Uh, uh, the application has that bug. You can see it has connected to the browser sync here. And now if I just click on the menu, there we go. You can see the magic happens. I'm just doing here in one browser and it is automatically syncing me in, in another browser and is showing me what's really happening. Why not do this? I'm just gonna hover here or maybe I'm gonna click the create course icon here and you can see that it is bringing me this up. Right? And now I'm just gonna show one more magic. Let's say I want to verify the tooltips of the mandatory field validation. So if I just do a submit in the Chrome browser, you can see the same thing is going to happen in the Safari browser as well. So I'm just doing submit. You can see the please fill in the field is completely different and look on field for two different browsers here. So there we go. We can test it same time every time and we can ensure that everything is working fine. And to go a level further up with the emulators or maybe simulators of the Android as well as iOS we can just go here and we can access the same URL in these emulators and we can see what's really happening in these different ecosystems as well that's even further up so I'm just gonna open the uh, local host colon 3000 you can see this again connected to the browser sync and uh, let's say I'm gonna go to the create course you can see now everybody is in the same page and why not just click it from the mobile emulator there we go you can see everybody is bringing the tooltip same time which is really really cool so that's the real power of the browser sync.io so you can see everything is happening instantly here so now let's go a level further as a developer what it what they do is basically they do some file change or code change here and there and they just want to see like if there is any uh, change happening into these browsers when I do a mouse hover in all these different browsers like Safari, Chrome and also in the uh, mobile. So what we can do is this we can just go to the uh, Visual Studio Code as like developer what they do. So here I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna do like this. So hash of let's say I'm gonna choose a green color here uh, I'm gonna save it you can see that every time I save there is a file event uh, of save is gonna happen there uh, and you can see that this time I'm just getting green color I have not even reloaded the application and boom everything is just coming without any problem you can see I didn't even reload that 
so that's the power of browser sync basically so everything works fine without any problem you can just reload you can just change the code and the developer can even change asynchronously and you can see the changes that are happening without even reloading the browser that's the real power of browser sync that i will hope you like this tool and thank you very much to my friend jacob who mentioned me about this tool and who introduced me to this tool and it's really a helpful tool thank you once again bro and thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day